You've probably noticed on YouTube as you're doing your research on tutorial videos and such that there are different versions of Lightroom. There's Lightroom Classic and there's Lightroom Cloud. A lot of the tutorials that you'll find on YouTube are done with Lightroom Classic. And that's because a lot of the professional photographers have used Lightroom Classic for most of their careers and are used to it. And the new Lightroom is excellent. It's a little more intuitive to get done what you want to get done. But what are the real differences and does it make sense to use Lightroom Classic instead of Lightroom? Or is Lightroom everything you need? Well, there's been an upgrade to Lightroom that I want to show you here because I think this is the game changer. Okay, let's take a look at this. Now, this is regular Lightroom. This is not Lightroom Classic. And you'll notice this big red banner wants me to upgrade because my storage is full. And that's been the big downfall of regular Lightroom because it's all cloud-based. As opposed to, let's look at this. This is Lightroom Classic. This is where Lightroom accesses the photos off of your desktop. They're not cloud-based, so you have unlimited storage, or at least as much storage as on your device or on your external devices. And so you simply navigate in the left-hand column here to the folder that your photos are imported into, and then select all of them or the ones that you want, and then just import those into Lightroom Classic. And you're gonna notice that the interface, if you're used to regular Lightroom, is pretty different. It's a little more old school and some people really, really prefer that. And that's why I have a feeling now that they've upgraded regular Lightroom that we're going to start seeing some people move back to regular Lightroom and I think move away from Lightroom Classic. Pure conjecture on my part. I don't know, but it just feels like that might be the case. Um, so, so in Lightroom Classic here, once we have our photos imported, we just go to the develop module up here and then you're going to find the very same controls that you find in regular Lightroom. You have everything you have in regular Lightroom, it just looks a little bit different. You have your tone curves, your color mixers, your color grading, your detail, and I mean, you, you have it all. It's just laid out just a little bit different. And there are some features in Lightroom Classic that haven't made it over to regular Lightroom yet. There's a little bit more color control and that sort of stuff, but it's really nothing that should keep you from using regular Lightroom, especially if you're not used to the setup of Lightroom Classic. Now let's get to the big thing because when we go back to regular Lightroom, we typically had this um, cloud here. And so then everything is uploaded to the cloud. We have all of our photos in the cloud, all of the folders that we create are in the cloud and we work from that. But then when it gets filled up, they want you to buy more space. Well, check this out because now we have this local tab and now we can click local and then simply navigate to the folder that we want to. And now I've created a folder called Lightroom Imports. And all of these photos now are on my hard drive, on my computer. So I'm working straight locally here. And it's a great way for me to organize my photos, to keep everything on my own machine and my backup machine so that should, happen, should something happen to the cloud or the internet go out, I still have access to all of my photos. This is huge because we still have the more user-friendly user interface of regular Lightroom along with local storage. That's a pretty huge thing. It changes the way you're gonna import your photos just a little bit. The Canon card is recognized, so we can just open that up and then we can save these from Lightroom directly to our, to our import folder on our drive. And then Lightroom will automatically see those and we can edit them from there. So I've already done that with these pictures, so I'm not going to, but otherwise I would save the photos to that folder and then I would get them all showing up here in Lightroom. Really super convenient, just a little bit of a workflow change. This has been one of the biggest differences between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom, and it's kept a lot of professional photographers from moving over to Lightroom because they don't wanna give up control of having all of their images on their local drive. Completely understand that. I've noticed as I've gone through YouTube and tried to learn new things and learn from other photographers that a lot of times they are teaching on Lightroom Classic. And usually that's just fine because it translates over to Lightroom just fine. Um, I do all of my tutorials in regular Lightroom. So if you are looking for that, you have a home. <laughs> so come on over and uh, we're going to continue to work in regular Lightroom, especially now that we have this, this local drive option. It's super cool. And I'm really excited about it. Now, once you have your photos imported into Lightroom, how do you clear off your card so that you can put it back into your camera and try again? There's like some controversy there that you wouldn't think because there are different ways to clear out that card. 
you can either open them on your computer here, select all and drag them to the trash and delete, which will clean off the card. There is some speculation that doing it this way can corrupt the card more easily. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I've seen and heard the chatter out there. So I choose not to do it that way. Another way is to put the camera back in the card and just clear. Go to your, your camera menu and just delete all photos on the card. Um, that's another way to do it and it cleans everything off just fine. But the third way and probably the safest way to do it is to go in and actually reformat the card. And I personally do that every time just so that the camera has a fresh reformatted card to work with with no information still hanging around on it or or anything that could possibly corrupt any of the files. Not to say it's foolproof because it's it's not because these cards do fail sometimes, but I have found that this is a the most reliable way to do it. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Just a little bit of information on the new Lightroom and some cool new capabilities that it's offering. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. I want to have you here. We're going to do more and more tutorials on Lightroom and Photoshop and just go on photo adventures and see what we can find out in the world. And I want you next to me. We're going to have some fun. So please subscribe if you haven't. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for being here.